What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Blake with the Linux Fraud and today, you know, this is kind of a weird video. I have two tips for you and they are going to be especially helpful if you run window managers. So like for instance, I run Qtile on Endeavor OS. Now these, uh, these two tips, which I have come in contact with or have had problems with, well not really the second one, but definitely the first one. The first tip I'm going to tell you about and show you how to fix is this little guy, this little cursor. See, I like a certain cursor theme. It is called Babata Modern Ice. I don't know, I just really like it. I think the normal cursor theme or the default theme is like Adwaita for um, a lot of uh, distributions or for a lot of like Arch-based distributions. When it comes to window managers, they use that like Quigger or like it's Q-O-G-I-R or something. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that one's not bad, at least the um, the light theme, or technically the dark theme one, because I run a dark theme system, so I like my cursor to be white, right, so I can see it. Well, I've had problems in the past where it does it doesn't it doesn't stay consistent. So I'll change the theme, like with LX appearance or something, and it just doesn't stay consistent throughout like browsers and applications and stuff. But if you've had that problem, stick around because I am going to show you how to fix that. The second tip I'm going to give you is how to set up Bluetooth, like with a Bluetooth headset, very easily. So if that sounds like something you uh, find interesting, stick around to the end of the video. Now the first tip I'm going to give you is how to have a consistent cursor theme throughout all of your applications. You can see this little guy here. This is the Babata modern theme. But what happens sometimes is that if you don't go into the these configuration files and change some settings the theme won't it won't stick right so let me show you over in this VM if I go over here this right here is LX appearance if I go to mouse cursor and change it to the dark theme which is actually supposed to be white and hit apply now you can see when it's on the desktop it does change let me log out real quick because you have to log out anyway uh, for the changes to take effect it's not white anymore, right? It's still the original dark color, the dark theme. It's not on the light theme anymore. So what you want to do, see now it went back, but you want that fluidity, right? I, I don't know if I have OCD or something. When I set something to a certain theme, I want it to be that theme all over the place. I don't like when the cursor changes colors or changes themes. It's not, it just, I don't know. It bugs me and maybe I'm crazy for that but it just really bugs me first thing that you're gonna want to do is make sure that you have LX appearance installed and that is the um, that's the app that we just looked at this is LX appearance you're gonna want that installed and then the second thing you're gonna want to do is open up a terminal and now do an LS dash LA and see if you have uh, this file this X resources in your home directory if you do go ahead and open it up in your um, in whatever text editor that you want and if you don't then create this file now do notice that this does have a period in front of this file so it's a dot X resources that means it's a hidden file that's important so just make sure that you do you know if you need to make this file do touch dot X resources next what you're gonna want to do is do sudo nvim dot X resources or you could do nano or whatever you want to use. Put in your password. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't have I literally just spun this VM up for uh, for this video. So let me install NeoVim really quick. All right, now sudo nvim.x resources. See right here. This you can see that this the the quigger or however you however you say that coger qu I don't know what the how the fuck to say that even though we changed this to the dash dark theme which is supposed to make it a white cursor it did not change in this file now again if if this file was already in your home directory then you're going to want to change this name you're going to want to delete it and change it to the uh, the theme that you want so in this instance it's going to be the same name but dash dark and then the uh, cursor size is optional but I do like to keep it at 16 and once you do that you do right quit now you're not done yet is CD into your config directory 
you do LS, you can notice that there is a GTK 3.0 and a GTK 4.0 directory. First go into GTK 3.0, if we do an LS here, actually let's clear all this so it's, but you can see in this directory there is a settings.ini. What you wanna do is nvim settings.ini. When you open that up, you're gonna see that there is a, you can see there's a lot of lines. There's one for the theme, icon, cursor, and this is actually, you're gonna have to do all of this stuff if you wanna change your icon theme or your actual theme, um, but I'm just doing the cursor theme for now. Now, the cursor theme is already set to dash dart, so I don't have to change that here, but sometimes I have noticed that it doesn't, uh, it does not change as you change it in LX appearance and in the X resources. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But if you go into this file and you notice that the theme name is not matching the one that you want, go ahead and change that. And then just right quit. Now we can CD back into the config directory and then you're gonna wanna CD into GTK4. So CD into GTK 4.0, do an LS and you can see there's a settings.ini in here as well. If you're following along, you'll probably assume that you NVIM into that settings. Go ahead, go down to cursor theme. You can see in this one, it's not changed to the correct name. We do dash dark, hit right quit. And now after that, you're just gonna CD. You can do a reboot, if I can spell right. You can either do a reboot or you can just log out. A lot of times I just like to reboot, just give it a, you know, some fresh life. And then now you can see as we log in, the cursor theme is correct. If you open up a browser, it is correct there. You open up your terminal, you can see it's, uh, it's the correct theme there. So those are the few steps that you need to do to keep your uh, cursor theme fluent through all apps and on your desktop. Because it, again, I don't know if I got OCD or something. It just really bugs me out whenever whenever the cursor theme is not, it, it's not the same. All right, so for this second and last tip, um, I know most videos that you see, if, if you do like a top five or top 10, something like that, I know I'm only doing two tips here, but I feel like these two tips are actually um, worthwhile right? I think that it's probably something that people come in contact with, or it's probably a problem that people face, and it's kind of just a niche problem, and I don't think there there isn't, like, very great tutorials or write-ups or anything on it. Uh, you kind of just got to learn it by using Linux and, and using window managers. That's kind of how you learn how to do stuff like this, right? So again, I know it's not a, a ton of tips, but I do think that these two tips are pretty helpful. So for the second one, it actually has to deal with Bluetooth. Now, when I first got into Linux, people, like whenever I would read about Bluetooth, people would just say that, that it was like a really big headache to get their uh, Bluetooth headsets connected. I fortunately have never really had a problem the first time i tried to connect my uh bluetooth headset it was actually like apple airpods so in my head i'm thinking like shit airpods are not going to connect and if they do i'm gonna it's gonna be a hassle right well it really wasn't um i use the airpods i have some like uh jbl headphones and stuff that connect right away first what you're going to want to do is make sure that bluetooth ctl is installed this is all going to be from the command line Make sure that Bluetooth CTL is uh, installed, and to install that, you would have to install the Blues Util package. Get that all installed, and then once you do that, you're gonna want to open up a terminal. And once you open up a terminal, type in sudo systemctl enable bluetooth.service, just like this right here. Hit enter, it'll create a sim link. And then after that, type in sudo systemctl start Bluetooth service, hit enter. Next thing you're gonna do is just type in Bluetooth CTL, hit enter, and this prompt will come up. You're gonna type in power on, hit enter. Type in agent on, hit enter. Type in default dash agent and hit enter. And then type scan on and hit enter. Then you'll notice that a bunch of devices will pop up. You're gonna find your device, copy your Mac address, that's what these numbers are here. Copy that and then hit type in pair and paste your uh, 
your MAC address. If you get this message, just type in yes, connect, and then cop or paste your MAC address again, it'll connect. And then type in trust, again, paste your MAC address, and then it'll trust. Then you can type in scan off, exit, and right there. Your device is literally connected, or at least it should be. If you do come into uh, any errors there, then you can just uh, exit out of Bluetooth CTL, type in pipewire-k or pulse audio if you're still using that, uh, and then that will kill that instance of pipewire or pulse audio, whatever, and then redo it again, redo those steps, and then you should be all good. All right, everybody. Well, that was just a quick video. I know that those two tips, I mean, cursor theme and then Bluetooth, they don't go hand in hand, but I do think that those are problems that probably a lot of people face. I mean, they were, well, the Bluetooth thing wasn't an issue for me, but the cursor theme, that shit really annoyed me for a long time until I figured out those steps. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. It helps out way more than you know. If you aren't subscribed yet, consider hitting that subscribe button because we have a bunch more content coming your way.